Okay. Um, so updates on Amaranth's situation. Let's take a look at what's going on. She streamed or she tried to stream earlier yesterday while we were live. I didn't take a look at it because I wanted to see what was going on. I mean, I was covering some other uh, stuff. But um, Amaranth talked about um, Amaranth talked about her situation, uh, as you all know. Yesterday, she tried to go live, and then the police came, um, uh, and, and she had to end the stream. And then she went live again last night. And uh, here are some of the things. Here are some of the updates. From I don't it. have to wear cleavage every day. <laughs> I can wear clothes. Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. Good. That's that's just a meme. I don't know why you guys sent me the meme one, but I mean, basically, as far as I understand, um, I, I think a lot of people are basically like reading further into it, like trying to figure out what is you know happening in her personal life. Like I mentioned already, we do not have we do not have uh, uh, any sort of entitlement. We should not have any sort of entitlement to what's going on in her real life, in her personal life. Don't get parasocial and be like, this is what's better for you. Okay. She's going to do what she's going to do. Remember that, okay? As I said, in a lot of circumstances like this, in a lot of instances like this, people do have the tendency to go back to uh, their partners, okay? Even after having like a public blow up. But don't get mad or angry or feel entitled to additional information. Just let her live her life, okay? That's, that's the best you can hope for in the situation. And a lot of people being like, oh, she should have kept it private. And I'm like, I did. It wasn't getting better. <laughs> I did keep it private for a long time. But, I mean, of course, Police I'm really expecting the internet not to be unhinged about this when they certainly will be unhinged about this because when have they never been unhinged? When have they not been unhinged? You don't do anything unless you're physically harmed. Unfortunately, yelling at your partner isn't um, grounds for legal action from the police. So, they don't really help with that. They look for actual physical damages. Um, here, Amaranth has gone live to explain her situation. It seems her and her partner have split or trying to, and he's seeking help. She's seeking both legal and emotional counsel. She has also regained control of all of her social media accounts again. So, there's some good news there. Just... You know, pick up the W's and move on. And I think that when he heard himself on that call, it really sunk in how much of an asshole he is. I mean. <laughs> it's like you never fucking realized, idiot. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pick. Um, so as of today, though, I have access to all of my accounts and finances again. Uh, he's not here. He's getting help. And I'm seeking legal and emotional counsel. I have like, I'm like, do I drink? Do I, do I stay hydrated? I don't know which one right now. But yeah, I've had a lot of people reach out that offer their help and support, including like legal help, uh, places to stay, etc. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. And I think that when he heard himself on that call, it it's really depressing to me. People seem to hate her for stuff her husband did. And now the same people are taking the side of her husband because people just hate women and, and they hate sex workers, uh, which is often tied to the hatred of sex workers, often tied to the hatred of women and, and stems from, you know, p wanting to police women's bodies. And that's it. This part I heard and it was like real I shitty. To turn down invites to shit camp and stuff now. We're she should have just said she needed soda to run good content. <laughs> like the girls trip because it's not good. It's not good use of time. Could be home getting more conversions and money. I can actually feel like I can have friends again. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. That That is like insane amounts of abuse, right? I mean, the idea that you- private. I'm like, I did. It wasn't getting better. Like, it, it, it's it's insane that, like, that level of control was exerted over her life. 
Uh, the rest of the stream is really tough to watch. She's been stating all the things she finally has freedom to do again. Watch TV, not work cleavage, finally sleep eight hours a night, etc. Lastly, she says she doesn't approve of her now former cameraman and content lead speaking out for her on social media, claiming he knew about the situation for a while and did nothing. Because he's just, I feel like he's just out of line right now. After the way he acted at the convention. <sighs> so he's not, he has known me longer than anyone on my staff, so I don't like that he's labeling other people as enablers. Because he's known about the situation for so long. It just feels really, really weird. Really sus. Is he, um, that was actually the first time that he's ever heard himself on a recording, because as I told you guys before, Previously, when I recorded him, he would just like refuse to listen to recordings. Sometimes with like take phones, etc. So he would never actually hear them. Um, and I think that when he heard himself on that call, it really sunk in how much of an asshole he is. I don't think him learning how much of an asshole he is, 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 you know, all that revelatory, but Hey, that's just me. I, I, yeah, I don't. It's like, you never fucking realized idiot. Anyways. Um, but regardless, you know, it, it seems like they did therapy and counseling before and he were reverted back to his old ways. Um, you know, I hope, I hope she's happy. I hope she's comfortable. I hope she gets to do whatever she wants to. And, uh, that's it. I think. Like, I, it's because you got exposed? Yes. So as of today, though, I have access to all of my accounts and finances again. Uh, he's not here. He's getting help. And I'm seeking legal and emotional counsel. Okay, she's probably doing something she wants. She's with her horses now. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and and I'm happy for her, but um, like I mentioned, even uh, like I mentioned even yesterday and the day before, like when this first came out, like it's not unique when victims uh, in in situations like this go back uh, to their uh, abusive partners. For the record, so don't be shocked, but also you don't have a say on the matter. You know what I mean? Um, Twitch has all this complex adult situation, millions of kids being spectators. That's weird. I think adults behave in a fucking weird way on this platform as well. It's not just kids that are behaving in a weird way. Adults do it too. I think a lot of people refuse to recognize that there are hella adults on this platform, man. They're behaving like kids, but it's not just it's not just kids. 